Welcome to Wall Street Confidential on thestreet.com TV. I'm Farnoosh Tarabi. I want to welcome Jim Cramer, co-founder of thestreet.com. Hi, Jim. How are you? General Electric is in the news today. It reported pretty strong earnings, but right. what you focus on in one of your columns this morning was the infrastructure business at GE. It's up 83%. Right. Well, first, remember, I work for General Electric, so I'm not going to discuss what I thought of that quarter. Uh, it's just not right. I, if I think I like it, if I say I like it, people think I'm trying to carry favor. If I don't like it, well, it's a kind of an oddity. So I'm, let's just put that in. A, the actual GE stock I, is not my bailiwick here. Okay. What I listen to are analogs. I say, okay, well, which is the hottest group? Well, healthcare, clearly not the hottest group. Um, NBC, you and I, uh, definitely a turn, not going to be disposed mm -hmm. of. You made that clear in the question from Jeff Sprague. It was infrastructure, infrastructure orders. This was almost like a small cap number. When you hear 83%, when you hear a 50% increase in backlog, what you need to be thinking is, who else is in this business? ABB is the closest analog. I asked that question in Street Signs. Uh, the, the fellow who was on is an ETF guy, but ABB is, is definitely worth. Foster Wheeler, is, this is right in their wheel, wheelhouse. You saw Shaw Group up big. It's also an upgrade. It's KBR's business. I would extrapolate to McDermott, floor less so, but is power plant build. Mm -hmm. And power plant build is ABB and Foster Wheeler. You think Halliburton was an idiot for giving up uh, KBR? So Halliburton's soon? made so many mistakes. I started selling it fractionlordsplus.com right into the buyback because Baker Hughes is the analog there and Baker Hughes is off Bailey today off of Canadian orders. Mm -hmm. I had hoped that two things would happen to Halliburton that they would um, maximize shareholder value KBR, but then said they just got rid of it so quickly that I'm even getting the gains here and that they would make an acquisition that would make them less domestic. Um, now, they have stepped up the buyback, and I applaud that. But they didn't make the acquisition, and they obviously poorly timed the KBR. I would think, didn't they know? Couldn't they look at the order book KBR? So it's I'm, a political liability, though, KBR. Oh, really big deal. You know, I mean, I hear you, but in the end, earnings always trump politics. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a company that's poorly run. All right. Well, they got an upgrade today from Credit Suisse. Just well, want to get that you in know, there. You know, good, good opportunity to let a little go. Now, it was one of my value stocks of the year, and I will stick by it. We're not trying to dump it all. But I'm deeply discouraged that this is a company like Baker Hughes that was not able to go outside its uh, core uh, regional area, even though it moved its headquarters to Dubai. That looks more cosmetic than yeah. it turned out to be. All right. Thanks a lot, Jim Kramer. You. You're watching Wall Street Confidential on thestreet.com TV. Don't go away.